every business owner should have some idea of the traffic and flow and demographic data of those who are visiting and interacting with their company website. One of the services I offer is a detailed analytics suite. I use Google Analytics and upgrade and amplify it a little bit so that my clients have an amazing opportunity to get to gather insights in a really meaningful and visually pleasant way. So here we can see uh, this company has several hundred visitors a day on average. For example, on November 12th, they have 367 visitors. At this exact moment in time, while I'm logged in, they have one visitor online. That person looked up the company directly. I'll show you some of the cool things that you can learn. There's the amount of data and insight that can be gleaned is really wonderful. For example, you can see how many different sessions, different uh, times people logged in. We can see the total number of visitors, the overall number of pages that those visitors viewed, the average time on site. Many of these are SEO metrics also that Google and the search engines look for and factor into their algorithms as they're determining which sites to rank. They like when people stay on websites and uh, engage and uh, consume the material. They don't love when people bounce off. A bounce means someone lands on the company's homepage and doesn't go any further into the site. Now, obviously we know that a fair amount of people are going to do that because they're coming looking for information like an address, a phone number, something very specific. And, uh, and then they move on. But uh, part of the SEO game is figuring out ways to entice and engage people to dive deeper and stay longer on the site. So the average number of pages for the session is two. We've got a large number of new sessions. So that means new people who haven't been to the site are finding it, coming to it. Obviously a good thing, expanding the brand. Look at that cool visual there. Percentage of visitors come to new. 86% compared with uh, returning 13% there. So very helpful to know the devices of visitors. Would you imagine that over 50% of web traffic occurs on mobile devices now? And so many of us, myself included, often think and from a desktop point of view, a desktop vantage point, and it is important and critical to assess and optimize the mobile version of your website because, for example, this particular website, 67% of traffic comes via a mobile device. Now we can actually see particular pages that people are landing on, number of views, response time. I can dive deeper to more pages on the site. And it's really helpful to know which pages are bringing people to the site. For example, if you have a blog post or some other content, that is very valuable. That item, we can see how many people are brought to the site via that particular post or that particular page. And as your online presence and content power grows, you will have more opportunities to uh, gather people to your site. This is a really cool tool. It's called a heat map, and it allows people to see where people are actually moving their cursor and, and clicking and what what elements of your site are working for them. And uh, so I, I definitely highly recommend that. So these this is a good snapshot of analytics and what we can do for your company in terms of giving you data and insight and metrics that can help you develop and uh, continue to improve and expand your online SEO strategy. Thanks so much.